Hello my friends, it's March 1st and spring is here in all its glory. I'm going to take you on a tour of my garden and show you how it has changed in the last month. So this is probably the best view to show you that the expansion is underway. Up here we do have the square that is going around my new and improved no dig garden. I'm going to actually add a second one of these beyond there. I just need to get it built. I've already got the, the old scrap wood. Up here, got the garlic that I planted about 10 days ago. It's actually doing great. Also, an interesting phenomenon you see sometimes with garlic is that it will actually push itself up out of the ground like this one has done. As you can see here, the green has not actually come out yet. The shoot has not come out, but it has some nice roots underneath it. And so this thing is not coming out of the ground. So I'm just gonna kind of pull it back up, push it back up Over like this. here we topped off this bed. It's ready to go. We assembled these two. We just have to get them leveled and have to get our anti-mole chicken wire underneath them and get them filled up. So this is the bed that we talked about last month that had sunk down really low. And so I'm about to have to add a lot of dirt back to this one to fill it up so I can get ready for planting. However, I'm struggling because I've got so many nice little coriander plants that survived the winter and are now starting to really kind of come into their own. So I hate to just like kill this stuff off, but I do need the space. This is the next high raised bed over. You can see that the lettuce and the carrot tops are really coming up now that the weather's gotten a little bit warmer and the days are getting a little bit longer. I'm kind of in the same situation because I do want to use this bed to plant some things right now. I think I'm just gonna have to harvest the little bit that's here and move on. So not a huge harvest, but here's some lettuce and some coriander underneath there. Uh, here's the carrots. Not super huge, but you know, it's okay. And here's a couple of the coriander plants that I'm actually gonna take inside and replant in order to keep my coriander supply going to the next couple of months till I can get the ones growing out in the garden. All harvested and topped off for the springtime. We are actually gonna add two more of these. We just need to get those built and or assembled and put them out here. As you can see we've been doing a lot of trimming this month. I cannot take credit for any of this because I've been doing a lot of PT this month, but not doing any trimming. But you can see that the Mirabelle plum tree over here is in bloom. Up there, you'll see the full blooming beauty of the plum trees. Unfortunately, we were trying to build a clay oven and we got so much rain one week during the winter time that it actually collapsed before we had a chance to bake it and seal it into place. That was a bummer. I'll take you over here real quick. I'm not gonna do a full tour of the yard like we did last month. We have the blackberry leaves in there now. And we got the other blackberry planted over here. My son was a big help getting all of my little berry bushes planted a couple of weeks ago. So really excited about that. See that the little poppies purple poppies are in bloom here. I love this time of year. It's so pretty. Look, if you remember my lazy garden experiment back in February, a couple of the garlic are still going strong. However, what I was not expecting is I had planted several months ago some potatoes a couple of potatoes down in the bottom and with the warmer weather that we had this month then all of a sudden i've got this beautiful potato plant growing and its little sister or brother over here also sprouting so i'm not really sure what that means for my garlic it may kind of destroy it i'm not really sure i did get some buckets in a few days ago so i'm actually going to plant some seed garlic in those buckets along with some other things over here i have some turnips that I transplanted to see if I could grow them in a bucket. Looking a little bit rough, but we'll see. Up here, I have no idea why I have a wasp nest in here that looked like it must have fell out from somewhere today. Oh well. Anyway, hopefully no wasp in it while I'm talking about this. But this, this is basil that's growing. Over here I have a bunch of little seedling, 
This first row are evergreen tomatoes that were in my seed haul. The next row is celery, which is looking really good so far. And the next row is artichoke, nothing really happening there. I've got a tiny one here. I think that was maybe a tomato or pepper that got over here. And this, these are peppers in the last row. There's two things here. Number one is I am using this tray that I said I hated. And you'll see what I'm talking about when you lift it. It just bends in two. But it's actually great for these little coconut pods because it holds them nicely into place so that they don't fall over. And these coconut pods, just as a final kind of word on those, I have had great success with them. You see here, these were just planted, I think one week ago, 10 days ago max. And everything has just about sprouted except for the artichoke here, which that's fine. If you look at the ones over here that I planted back a few weeks ago, these are actually ready to be repotted. I had 30 pods and 27 of them germinated. So this went from two different versions of onion. I have, uh, I have parsley, I have coriander, I have lettuce, and I have cauliflower. Some of the cauliflower I actually already moved over here and it's doing very well growing in those little recycled containers or reused containers that I was telling you about that used to have avocados in them. Those four are cauliflower seedlings. These are a couple of turnips that I just threw in there so I could compare them to the buckets. These are parsley. In the very back, I have some calla lilies. Over here's my ongoing bucket potato experiment, which seems to be getting really tall compared to the little short and bushy one outside. Here are some other onion sprouts that I put over here. I transplanted out of the coconut uh, pods into this container. These are some basil. This is a volunteer tomato plant that popped up in that uh, in with some coriander. So I decided to keep it since he's a feisty little guy. This is a cherry tomato of some kind. I just don't know what kind. More basil, no, more basil, more parsley. And more calla lilies. Another experiment to try to sprout some hydrangea and some seedlings that are just kind of struggling, but I'm leaving them back there for now. So that is what I have going for the moment, inside and outside here. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this garden tour and I hope to see you back next time. Have a good week, goodbye.